Hello guys, this is Kirill, your Eurovision Justice Analyst. Today it's time to cover our last Baltic country and it's Lithuania. I have already taken a look at Estonia and Latvia, who are both competing in the second semi-final of Eurovision 2024, while Lithuania has been drawn first semi-final. So this year, Sylvester Belt, his original name is Silvesteras uh, Belta, will represent Lithuania. He's 26 years old, he has a professional education in music, which he got first in Lithuania, then also from the Westminster University of London. He already tried to represent Lithuania in Eurovision in the past, but it was Junior Eurovision in 2010 with quite a funny entry, Pipapo. So he is very much into music and into Eurovision, so I'm glad that he finally made it to the Eurovision Song Contest. So in the tough Lithuanian selection, he won actually against the Roop, who were trying to come back to Eurovision again. Even though we all love the group, I think it's quite cool that Lithuanian public also wanted to give a chance to some other singers, to some newcomers on Eurovision stage, so to say. So let's just take a look at the song Luktelg, which will be performed in Lithuanian language. I have only heard a very short snippet of the song, so I'm not really sure what to expect. I believe it should be something kind of dancey. Unfortunately, I couldn't turn on the subtitles to check the lyrics at the time of the reaction because they are just not available for this one on YouTube. So we will have to take a look at the lyrics after the performance. But now let's take a look at his performance from the national final of the Lithuanian selection. Well, very cleverly staged performance. I know that he works without any label, so even his single, which actually already reached number one in Lithuania, was released without any help of the label. So it's quite cool that he knew how to stage this, because I think we have here a real Eurovision fan who knows how proper Eurovision performances should look like. Yeah, I'm always so amazed when the crowd sings along in this kind of selections because, you know, the songs which enter the selection, they're not already big kids, you know, which people are listening to since 10 years. So if people are already capable to sing along by the time of the final of the national selection, it means the song became already a huge hit, got a lot of fans. So this is very incredible. And I hope at the Eurovision stage, even though it's in Lithuanian, he will get not less support from the crowd. this sort of uh, trumpets or something in the background. It's really cool. It reminds me a little bit of Maru with the siren song. So, so far really modern, really striking visuals, quite impressive. Also, his vocals are very crisp, you know, the song is nothing really challenging. He is kind of sometimes talking, sometimes singing, but still he has a very good delivery. His voice is very unique. He also has a very appealing charisma, like you can feel his warmth while watching him performing. He's also very handsome. And I think the outfit which he chose with this special accessoire on the nose definitely helps him to stand out even more. Lithuania 
Lithuanian language is so beautiful. It's so cool that Lithuania chose a song in Lithuanian language again to represent them in Eurovision. I think from like all last 15 years or so, we had just one. It was the Sentiment Eye by Monica Liu. <laughs> which did extremely well. So I think it's a very good trend for even other countries to select more and more songs in their native languages. Well, I have to say in that bridge before the chorus, I lacked some power in his voice. I think he could have focused a little bit more on deliver in that moment, but it still sounds fantastic. It's also a very good mix in this production, like, you know, his voice, the music, maybe they edited it slightly for the Eurovision channel because here it sounds really crisp. If they can get this kind of sound quality for the Eurovision performance, I think it would be perfect. Really curious what Luktelk uh, means. Such an interesting word, like you don't have any similar words in any other languages around Lithuania. Um, and I think it is very nicely staged performance. The dancers, you know, maybe their costumes are nothing super special, but they all look very modern. No one is really outstriking the lead singer, so he's definitely the main star here. Unfortunately, he's not moving that much, but because of all these clever camera shots, playing with the light, I think they're really neglecting by this the lack of movements from his side. Again, we have this kind of great dance break. I would compare it to the one from Croatian performance to Europapa. Like this seems to be kind of a trend of this year. We have a lot of this dancey pop songs with some nice electro dance breaks. So very cool. And I think for the people watching the contest on TV, it will be like, you know, a boost of energy to make it through the whole show. So nice strategy. Generally, this like background instrumental is so unique. It is so modern, but still not something what we have heard thousands of times. So it's really incredible how he managed to bring this kind of actually maybe not too interesting musical wise song when we look at the melody itself to this kind of level where we all are listening to this and thinking, hmm, he brought actually something new, something cool, something fresh. So great job. And he's actually one of the composers of the song. Great job, great job. And he seems to be also kind of a nice guy next door with whom everyone would like to be friends with. So what a nice modern track from Lithuania this year. So taking a look at the lyrics, we can see that the story which Sylvester is telling to us through his song is that we all are in a sort of matrix, you know, having our daily responsibilities, daily routine, just kind of every day is just repeating the previous one. He's telling to us that he would like to escape this routine, that he would like to find himself. But at the end of the day, next day, we wake up and what we do, we just repeat the same all over again. So yeah, a bit depressing message, but generally, you know, talking about life, the purpose of life, the daily routines, uh, so still quite an important message in my opinion. So let's take a look at how the bookmakers are rating Lithuania this year. 
So in the current odds to win the contest, Lithuania is currently on place 13. So just behind United Kingdom, Austria, Sweden and Israel and above Finland, Norway, Ireland and Armenia. And if we take a look at their semi-final odds to qualify to the final, Lithuania is on a very comfortable third place just behind Ukraine and Croatia. So actually really great result for Lithuania already. So with this kind of odds, I'm pretty confident that we will see Sylvester Belt in the final, even though in his semi-final, the first semi-final, he will perform right in the beginning of the competition. So actually it's like, you know, the death area of the semi-final from which it's the most complicated to qualify. But I'm pretty confident it will not be a problem for him. And let's take a look how the Eurovision fans are rating Sylvester. So in accordance with the current standings, he's on place 7. So just behind Netherlands, Belgium and Greece. And above Ukraine, Austria and Norway. So really great result for him. I can't really say at this point of time if he can really finish in top 10. In my opinion, it's not really a type of a song which will appeal to juries because musical wise, you know, it's not a very complicated song. There is no groundbreaking melody there. It has very, very fresh and upbeat instrumental track. The performer is very charismatic. So I think these are the things which will be very appealing for the televoters. But I really, at this point of time, cannot see Jury standing behind this one. And let's talk about the potential staging of Sylvester Belt. So if we think about the previous years, I think the Lithuanian selection was on such a good level that they were basically able to transmit the performances from their national selection to the Eurovision stage without a huge need to escalate something. I think his performance was really nice. The only thing what they can really still elevate would be maybe the background dancers, the dancing routine which they are doing in general, but also what they are wearing. I think it was not like still perfect in the selection of Lithuania. Basically the choreography which they were doing was just to fill the gaps but was not really giving us much so that's something what they can improve maybe Sylvester will take more active part in the deaths than himself however I think for him the most important is just to focus on his vocals and I think if they keep playing with the camera shots like they did in the selection this will work as well so this is my opinion about the Lithuanian entry for the upcoming contest I definitely see it as one of the solid finalists I hardly can imagine him entering top 10 in the end but I think somewhere between 11th, 20th place for sure he can finish, especially if the running order in the final will be good for him. But what did you think? Do you think Lithuania might finish higher, maybe even top five? Please let me know down below in the comments and don't forget to join me for the next video. Bye bye.